Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game SO. Today we're going to continue the series. Is that an analog in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? And here we are with the July Pocket News Roundup. Because suddenly an entire month has gone by again. We've got a lot of updates on the analog pocket side, and we're almost into August, which is just wild. I feel like the summer is completely flying by. But we got a lot of fun new cores in July. We got a fun new announcement from analog with some metal pockets, and we got some other things to talk about as well. Before we get too far involved, though, do me a huge favor down below, hit like and subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined to ask about the channel, I got a Patreon link down below as well. But right off the top, Analog introduced four new pockets, all made out of aluminum. These things are milled on a CNC machine out of a solid block, and it is not the plastic case that you remember from holding your pocket in your hand. Now, these are definitely specialized items. They are not cheap whatsoever. This is going to be more of a collector's item, I feel like, than anything else, but it is fun to see Analog do something different with the pocket. So it makes me wonder if they're ever going to introduce a pocket 2.0 with a bigger FPGA to get some of the cores that Mr. FPGA has that pocket can't, but have to wait into the future and see. Not sure if anyone was actually expecting or wanting an analog pocket, but they are here today in aluminum. So if you guys want to grab one, they are still in stock. No surprise, they are expensive. Now moving over to Hotego, he's been previewing working on a Sunset Riders PCB, which also has a ton of other awesome games on the Konami side of things, including Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. And I just recently did a video on Sunset Riders comparing the arcade version to the Super Nintendo port as well as the Sega Genesis port, and trust me, the arcade version is 100% the way you want to play this game. And this is going to be another awesome Konami arcade board coming over to the pocket side of things. No date as to when that's going to be done, looks like reverse engineering has just started, but obviously Hotego and his team have a lot of experience on Konami boards, so I'm sure some of the learnings they've derived from previous platforms are going to be relevant here as well. It's not going to already have that Proteus dock core as well, which is running on basically the same hardware. There can be some minor variants in Konami hardware depending on the game, but otherwise this is going to be something really to look forward to, because it's just one of those quintessentially classic arcade games, and it's going to be coming to Analog Pocket, and of course Mr. FPGA as well. And this is going to be exciting because there's so many other Konami arcade boards out there with so many incredible games and I'm pretty sure everyone and their uncles are going to want Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, another spectacular Konami beat-em-up because Konami was absolutely nailing it back in the day with beat-em-ups and running gun genre games and Sunset Riders is just one of those titles that pretty much every single person who played games back in the 90s no loves and remembers and this is the type of game that's going to be perfect on the go on pocket or if you bring it home and throw it in the dock it's going to be great as well because the arcade version version is the only one that supports four players as a native function versus the console versions are going to be two player exclusively. So this is definitely one to be excited for and look out for and definitely when there is a beta I will do a video on the whole thing because this is just classic Konami and it's going to lead to even more fun games on this board. And just so you know the board doesn't really have a name it's just the TMNT2 board according to System 16 and they're usually the gospel on these things. And it's just fun to get a little peek into the background of somebody reverse engineering these and being surprised they only use like 10 watts of power. These boards are not power hungry at all. Now keeping with Hotego, the Namco System 1 core is also public as of the recording of this video. This was a beta for the longest time, but it has now gone public for absolutely everyone. So if you haven't updated your pocket in a while, grab your favorite updater, go ahead and update, and these cores will come down with all the associated files and you will be ready to play. And it's always fun when the cores leave beta. That means they're basically done. They might get an update here or there, but the audience to be able to enjoy these is going to get a lot wider. And while I do think popping Hotego a few bucks a month for that beta status is a lot of fun, I know some of you just don't like playing cores until they're publicly released, so that day has definitely come. And if you're not familiar with too many of the games on the Namco System 1, I wouldn't be surprised. It's most famously known for being the Splatterhouse board, but there's a ton of other fun games on this board that you need to check out. A lot of action platformers, a lot of shmups, even some tank games, kind of like tank and run, not run and gun. And you'll see here, there's pretty much a genre for everyone. This is basically giant kaiju battle shmup, but you also have space shooters as well. And it is great that it's all going to be here. And all of these games work so well on pocket. Some of the Tate shmups can be a little bit small on the screen, in my opinion, but that's just kind of how the form factor works. Leave me a comment down below and tell me, do you like Tate games on the small pocket screen? Or are you more like me and want to play them docked at home? Because there's just something about the lack of screen real estate when you have that Tate view that just kind of gets to me and I have a little bit of a problem following all the bullets. Maybe it's just me, you tell me down below. 
but again it's another core that everyone can play today and there are a lot of fun games on it some of them are very deep cuts other ones like splatterhouse are known to pretty much everyone but it's great when another core goes public and i'm sure some other hotego cores will be going public in the next couple months as well as he probably moves into that beta phase on stuff like sunset riders in the future but definitely update your pocket check out the system one today ton of fun games and no beta membership needed anymore now moving over to the analogizer side of things, obviously I've done videos on this that you can get RGB and other video signals out of your analog pocket with a third party adapter. They're basically doing what analog seems to not be able to do by making their own DAC compatible with pocket. So this is the only way today to actually get an analog signal out of your pocket. And it has gotten updated cores as well. And there is a master list of all the cores on pocket. I will leave a link in the description below, but there's been some systems added, including Gauntlet and Atari System 1, and a list of all the other cores that are going to work with this device. It's so much fun to be able to hook it up to a CRT, a PVM, or even a VGA monitor. So definitely check this out if you're interested in playing your pocket on a CRT television. It's so easy on the Mr. FPJ side of things. I'm really surprised that Analog has not yet enabled DAC support for the pocket. It seems like a big miss. They promised it basically in spring of 2023. Here we are late summer 2024. So hopefully one of these days you will see it soon. Now moving back over to the Sega System 18, Moonwalker is obviously available. I did an update on this last week, but if you didn't watch that, I figured I'd tell you one more time and kind of talk about the other games that are going to be coming soon. I think pretty much everyone was waiting for Moonwalker. It is the most famous game on the System 18, but for me personally, Laser Ghost is the one I really want to check out and play. But I am curious how that's going to function on the analog pocket if you're not docked, because that game uses an XY coordinate control, basically analog, to be able to move your reticle and shoot enemies on the screen and anytime that pivots over to a d-pad it can feel a little bit clunky which is not Hotego's problem whatsoever he's working with the hardware he has but I am kind of curious to see how that's going to function but obviously Moonwalker is here today if you're not a beta member or you don't have the beta key installed or updated you're not going to be able to coin up the game so if you're having issues with that I do get a lot of comments about that make sure that you put the beta key in the correct spot or make sure you sign up for Hotego's Patreon it's not going to coin up if you don't have that in there but if you want to play moonwalker today it is ready willing and able to be played just make sure you update your pocket and grab the most current core now on the konami side of things again there is a core now for fast lane released in 1987 this is a very fun if very small game kind of feels like pac-man mixed with a vehicular combat game and of all the konami games we talk about on the channel all the konami games from the 80s and 90s that everyone knows loves and remembers i don't think many people are actually going to remember fast lane so if you do leave me a comment down below i would be curious basically you just need to avoid the blue vehicle until you have a weapon to destroy it and then you need to attack it so it kind of plays exactly like pac-man except obviously we have cars here and not actual ghosts and that's just kind of a fun thing this is the five ten minute pick up and play fun you're looking for on the go with analog pocket and that is always a good thing it is one of those games that probably like i said you don't remember so if you've never checked this out before give it a play give it five or ten minutes maybe you'll be into it maybe you won't but it's always fun to get some of these smaller arcade cores over to pocket as well because for every single teenage mutant ninja turtles game that konami made they also made a game like fast lane so give it a shot it'll either become your new favorite game where you'll play it for five or ten minutes never come back to it again but it is available to play today now sticking to pocket on pocket hotego's neo geo pocket core has gone public it is not finished it definitely still is a little bit rough around the edges but this is the type of thing that you can check out if you want to now i am aware that there are analog pocket cores for neo geo pocket neo geo pocket color but you do need to have the cart adapters to be able to play them so if you don't you've been waiting around to buy them or you just wanted to wait around for an open fpga core you can play Neo Geo Pocket today. Just be aware that this is only the black and white variant. Neo Geo Pocket Color has not yet been worked on or finished by Hotego, so there really isn't much of a release to talk about there. If you do love the Neo Geo Pocket and Color and you want to play these games today, I definitely recommend picking up the adapters, but unfortunately they seem to be out of stock again. Analog always seems to have stock issues on a lot of these things. 
And if you've never played the Neo Geo Pocket before, definitely check it out. This is a fun core. There's a lot of fun games to be had, and it is functioning for the most part that you can enjoy most of them. Hopefully by the end of the year, maybe this core will be buttoned up, or maybe we'll see Neo Geo Pocket Color from Hoteko as well. But if you aren't a beta member again, or if you haven't checked this core out, it is public, and it has had a little bit of an update in the background, so you should be having a lot of fun. And that is the thing for a two-button mobile fighter like this one right here. It is absolutely awesome. King of Fighters works way better than you expect on the Neo Geo Pocket. Now remember one more time, if you want to play Neo Geo Pocket Color games, you need that cartridge adapter from Analog, and hopefully at some point in the future, I'm not expecting this, I just hope it'll happen, Analog will actually open up these cores to be able to run files and not just cartridges, or somebody in the background actually jailbreaks the firmware out to be able to do this, because these cores are available, they are awesome, to, to my knowledge, you cannot run games on them without that cartridge adapter, but at least on the open FPJ side, of things today you do have neo geo pocket out of beta it's like 80 percent done you can have some fun with it so definitely check it out and one last game that's coming out of beta as well is going to be bionic commando ton of fun absolutely challenging fun capcom game that was behind the patreon wall for a while but is now available for everyone to check out really july was basically the month of things from hotego coming out of beta and going into the public repository for anyone to enjoy and that's always awesome because like i said i know some of you just wait for these cores to be publicly released before you actually play them but tell me down below are you a beta member or are you a public person short of that that is the analog pocket news for the month of july decent month not the busiest not the slowest but we'll have to wait and see what august brings hopefully in the next couple months we'll be able to talk about a sunset riders core as well and obviously if you want to pick up a very expensive aluminum analog pocket to go with your plastic model you can do that today definitely not anything i'm interested in it seems to be quite expensive but if you want to spend the cash more power to you i'm not here to tell you how to spend your money you get to pick that yourself but short of that that's the news and we'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.